day small slip we had the 1.488 60 foot What's up Mopar fam? I hope everybody's having a blessed day out there. As you can see, we made it to the racetrack. We're here at Silver Dollar in Reynolds, Georgia, and we have Frostbite, and we also have Project Storm over there as well. So we got both trucks down here, and we're going to try to run them today. We're waiting on them to get the track ready. They're still prepping it. Uh, DA right now is, uh, when I just checked, it was about 11.77. Uh, we had some rain move in yesterday. The grains were around 71, uh, 71 is what it said for the grains. And the humidity is pretty high, it's like 97. Um, so right now we're around the 1100, probably 1200 DA range by the time we get to race. Um, don't feel too bad out here. It's, you know, it's kind of nice and cool. It's a good crisp 64, 65 degrees right now, but it feels good. We have, uh, a lot of changes on the truck. I'm gonna kind of go over it real quick for you. So as most of you know, if you caught some of the little teasers, we have the new 417 Motorsports um, intercooler installed. This is the air to water intercooler, 1500 horsepower model. It's two and a half inches thick and it fits in between the Holly high ram manifold and the top uh, lid. We did have to cut the wiper cowl um, all the way back to the firewall we will have videos on how we installed this thing and what we had to do so stay tuned for that but we got it hooked up um, we have some just good old cheap uh, water line hooked up to it right now just to get things going um, as we're running out of time to be able to go test and race so we will down the road eventually make this look a little bit better we might do some braided lines like we did the fuel lines and everything but for right now this is working just fine we got it clamped on there with some uh, an barb fittings running all the way to the ice box um, i had to redo my uh, pressure pipe as we got rid of all the intercooler pipes that was down here um, we got rid of the intercooler that was behind the grill and as a lot of you know we had the supercharger outlet we had it clocked at the bottom to accept the intercooler pipes down there so now we have it clocked uh, coming up the top here it's kind of similar to how we did storm and we have now a aluminum pipe no more stainless steel pipe we got aluminum pipe here we got the blow-off valve installed meth injection right here and the dry nitrous nozzle mounted here 
along with the nitrous solenoid mounted on top of the holly lid. So we got a super short pipe. It should make boost quicker. Um, we should make a little bit more boost because we don't have all the extra piping and intercooler volume to have to fill um, to get the system pressurized when it starts to make boost. Um, so, you know, I would think we should be a little quicker. So let's go inside real quick. Nothing inside's been changed. Uh, we still got all the carpet in here right now. Uh, we got the Kirky racing seats, passenger and uh, driver's side. Um, right now we got my pole shifter in. We do have the center console removed. But other than that, we have door panels. Uh, we got all the, the dash, um, everything. So except my center console, we even got all the backing panels, even the little toolbox stores where the bottles mounted in. So we got all that in there. And we got the new water box right here in the back, right behind the fuel cell. Uh, this is our ice box for right now. We just got a little cheapy one from CX Racing. And you can see we have, you can see we got ice cubes down there. This should give us some super, super cold IETs. We will find out uh, on our first log, but it is super ice as you can see. It is literally sweating right now. That is how cold this box is. We got a little drain right here. I can hook a hose to it and we can drain the water out and add more ice if we need to. But all in all, that's pretty much it. That's what we've changed on the truck so far. Uh, Project Storm is identically the same as it was at Mo Party. Um, but we'll have some changes on that soon as all the old intercooler, the air to air intercooler stuff we're gonna be putting on to Project Storm. Uh, so Storm will have an intercooler very soon, along with a Holly High Ram manifold that we're installing on Storm also. So stay tuned for that. Should be pretty dope. So cross your fingers, guys. Let's see if Frostbite and myself can get our first 10-second pass ever in my entire life. So let's go. Let's get to it.
What's up, Mopar fam? All right, so we just made our first pass. We sat in the staging lanes for an hour. So that sucked, but my ice box in the back, all my ice was melted from sitting there so long, but we did have at least cold water. Um, so we're gonna go over to Slip and talk about how my bad luck is today. So our first pass, Draggy right here, I don't know if you guys can see it. Draggy says we ran a 1098. I didn't get the video, for some reason I didn't video it, but 1098 at 120, 175 is what Draggy said. So usually, many people that run the Draggy knows, the Draggy is usually about a tenth slower. So we probably had about a 1080 pass. Now the time slip I got only shows my eighth mile time, and that's how my bad luck just went today for the first pass. Somehow I got mixed up and it had me in an eighth mile class, so it did not show my quarter mile time, and they also didn't get it at the tower. I, I even tried to go back and get it, and it doesn't show even in the computer. Eighth mile is all I got. But the eighth mile slip, we had the 1.488 60 foot. That's the best I've ever had. And she definitely hooked very hard. Eighth mile time was 6928. And that actually matches up very good with the draggy. As the draggy said, we ran a 690 also. <clears throat> and then also, let's talk about what we got on the data log. Again, we didn't have ice water. We had cold water because we sat there so long. But in the log, we launched off the two-step in the trans brake at 4,000 RPM. And on the two-step, we were running about 90 degrees for our IETs, which is excellent. And during the pass, the entire run, it slowly increased very very slow and it never got any higher than 115 um, so that was phenomenal that's the best temperatures I've ever had hands down and it would do much better if I actually had ice still in the box when we were racing um, but that's just what happens sometimes when you come out here on these test and tune days they have problems with a track some people take too long and you end up sitting there for a long time unfortunately sometimes but she ran hard um, we did make more boost also guys all right, so max boost on the log said we ran 12.9. Um, so that's taking max boost and then subtracting 14.7 um, for the atmosphere, which you know could be plus or minus either way a little bit. But per the math, we were running about 13 pounds of boost on that pass. So we definitely gained some extra boost by going to the air to water intercooler and getting rid of the front mount air to air. Um, we increased at least a little over a pound and a half of boost. So. It did exactly what I thought. Um, we got better IETs, we got more boost, and she definitely was faster. Um, we had the best 60 foot I've ever had on Frostbite the entire time I've owned this truck in every single pass we've ever raced it. We have never ran any faster than 1.5s. That was the first time we ran a 1.4 something 60 foot. So she definitely was liking life today. And that was also without the dry nitrous shot. That was just on boost and the motor no nitrous so if we ran a little 35 shot she probably would have really ran so we're going to try to hopefully not get screwed this time and get a, a full time slip and we're going to run it the same way and try to get try to keep ice in the box and see if we can get at least a, a my first 10 second slip on paper and if we have time we might try to uh, give the 35 shot a whirl and see what happens also the DA right now per air density online that's usually what i use is saying that the da is 1310 um the grains are 74.5 and the humidity right now is 77 percent and we're at 66 degrees so definitely the best numbers i've had on frostbite um in that under those conditions hands down so something's going right today except for the time slip so hopefully we get a good one this time so let's go give it hell stay tuned <laughs> 